or a place to call home? Are you considering Salt Lake City, Utah as one of your possible destinations? In this video, I will give you all the ins and outs, the good and the bad. I'll introduce you to some of the different suburbs that you might want to choose from when you are trying to decide where to live in Utah, if that's where you decide to call home. Are you considering lifestyle? Have you thought about different neighborhoods that might give you the lifestyle that you want? Have you heard of rumors that Utahns are a little weird? If you stay tuned, I will confirm some of the weird traditions that we do have here in Utah. If you like what you hear today and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Salt Lake City, Utah, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know all the juicy details of Salt Lake City, Utah living and lifestyle. My name is Janet with Living in Salt Lake City, Utah. We get calls and emails every every day from people like you looking to make a move to Salt Lake City or just looking to move from city to city within Salt Lake City, Utah, and they want to know about all the surrounding suburbs. So whether it's nine days, 90 days, or a year from now, you can give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email with our contact information that's listed below, and we can help you make a smooth move to the Salt Lake City, Utah, and surrounding suburbs. So today, we're actually going to discover more about Woods Cross. Before we get started, I have a few questions for you. Why do you want to own a home? What are your deepest desires? What are you looking for in lifestyle, community, and home ownership? Every real estate experience is different. Homes and owners have a special bond, and I want to help you uncover the answers of these questions if you don't already have the answers. I specialize in problem solving. <laughs> it sounds weird, I know, but I do. Real estate is highly, highly emotional. It will take you by surprise, and you will want someone to guide you through the experience and that discovery process. I love real estate. I love homes. I love the saying if walls could talk because there's so much life that happens in a home. Most of all, I love the connection that happens between people and their homes. Homes have feelings. You know, it's true. Homes evoke emotions. They express love. They provide shelter, comfort, and a sense of security and peace. Home is a place where loved ones can gather, they can feel joy and pain. It's a place where you can laugh and cry and a place where we create our lives memories. It's a pretty big deal to me what I do and how I guide people. Home always also gives you the gift of wealth. It gives you the opportunity to get a little bit of security towards your future. I was raised in Murray, Utah, which is just outside of Salt Lake City, and I've lived in different cities across the Wasatch Front. I want to share some of my favorite insights with you in the next videos that are coming. So let's go on this journey together. Let's discover the place that you want to call home. Today we'll hit the top 10 pros and cons of Woods Cross, Utah. As we get started, I actually want to address the top 10 reasons, according to Brian Buffini, why people actually make a move. This will help you kind of get your brain going to see which one fits your need. So according to Brian Buffini, the number one reason why people move is family ties. Number two, they need a bigger space. Number three, they love their rate, but not their house, and they're looking for a better quality of life. Number four, they want to upgrade a neighborhood. Number five, they want a vacation home. And with today's lifestyle, you can actually work from home, which allows you to actually occupy your rent home or your second home I should say lots of equity and they're looking for choices number seven would be legacy real estate baby boomers that are at kind of retiree age they really want to help their kids or their grandkids kids purchase a home number eight baby boomers those same retirees are looking to downsize number nine is out of area relocation and number ten is a change in work a change in lifestyle which of these reasons fit your situation I would love to help you brainstorm solutions one of my favorite client stories about Woods Cross is is a tell of twin sisters. They're best friends and they spend lots of time together. The one sister moved and it was causing a lot of heartache. It seemed unreasonable because it was really only a few more minutes away, but it caused a 30 minute, 30 minute commute back and forth. And it actually was a deal breaker. So it was really fun to watch the story unfold and to be able to get these sisters closer together so that they could have that small commute so that they could do life together. Okay, friends. So for today, let's hyper focus on the suburb of Woods Cross. It is 20 minutes from downtown Salt Lake, has a population of around 11,000. The average age of the resident is 30 years. Household typically has three people, a lot of younger children. 77% of residents own their home. 21% of these homeowners don't have a mortgage, but they own their home free and clear. That's pretty good. It borders North Salt Lake City on the west side of the main dividing interstate, I-15. 
If you want to learn more about the traffic patterns and the main travel roads, watch the map video that goes with Woods Cross, Utah, where I will go into detail and explain the best ways to get around. So Woods Cross blends into Bountiful on the east side. I think that even like longtime locals get confused if you're in Woods Cross or Bountiful when you cross over on the east side, especially when it comes to the main shopping areas where the grocery store is and the restaurants. There are the bulk of residencies on the west side of that I-15 freeway. Like North Salt Lake City Living, Woods Cross offers residents a sparse suburban fill and most residents own their own home. Living in the area since 2003 has helped me build an extensive network of reliable providers. This is helpful if you need a plumber or an electrician, flooring company, mechanic, or even accountant or insurance professional. It's nice to be able to have that community feel and to be able to connect with people in the area, then you can refer business back and forth. So I think this is one of the things that you'll love about it. I have actually been putting together footage about some of my favorite hidden gems in the area and giving insight into across the Wasatch Front. So look forward to these other videos where I share stuff like that. But today I'm here to be your guide and to give you the top 10 pros and cons of living in this delightful town of Woods Cross, Utah. Pro number one, in Woods Cross there is an abundance of parks. In fact, one of the parks in Woods Cross that is my favorite is Hogan Park. It has one of the best pickleball courts. <laughs> Every time you go, you're gonna see it full of people playing. With an array of amenities and facilities, the park provides the perfect setting for friendly competition, active, active recreation, and quality family time. So, um, sports enthusiasts <clears throat> will be thrilled to find that there are six well-maintained pickleball courts that are ready for fun matches and skillful play. Whether you're a seasoned player or you're new to the game, these courts have ample space for both casual and competitive play. Basketball enthusiasts can showcase their skills on the basketball court from shooting hoop with friends or the courts actually provide dedicated space for basketball lovers to encourage them to play their favorite sport. For those who prefer the classic American pastime, the park also provides well-groomed baseball fields. <laughs> you can gather your team, practice your swings, or enjoy a thrilling game of baseball. Aside from the sports facilities, the park offers other amenities to enhance your experience. You'll find well-placed benches and seating around throughout the park, allowing you to rest and observe the actions that's happening on the other fields and courts. The park provides a nice grassy area, which is perfect for a family picnic or recreational activities or simply just enjoying the outdoors. Whether you're organizing a friendly game or catching a lounging moment to sit on a blanket and enjoy the outdoors, these open areas provide lots of space for you to have leisure activities. So pro number two kind of goes along with pro number one, and that's access to the trails. They're very close for biking, hiking, well, not hiking on a trail, but you can run, you can walk, you can skate. It's easy to find with a short distance. Bordering the west, they run along the back of the neighborhoods. There are also other trails that are more mid Woods Cross. There seem to be parks every few blocks as well. It's always fun to make new friends as you and your children or your dog go to the park or play on the trails. The main trail is actually called Legacy Parkway Trail. It's a 14 mile recreational trail that winds its way through scenic landscape and provides a diverse range of activities for outdoor enthusiasts. Whether you prefer biking, inline skating, running, or simply taking a leisurely walk, these trails offer something for everyone. And it stretches from Red Barn Lane, just north of Farmington Station in Farmington, and it ends at the Jordan River Parkway Trail, which is near I-15 in North Salt Lake. The Legacy Park Trail takes you all the way on a little nature journey that is kind of combined with urban surroundings. So stay tuned for my map video and I can kind of show you how those trail runs. Biking enthusiasts will find the trail to be smooth for their riding. It's well maintained and it's an enjoyable ride. Whether you're seeking an invigorating workout or a leisurely pedal, the trail provides a safe and scenic route for cyclists of all skill levels. Inline skaters can lace up their skates and glide along the trail. The flat and smooth surfaces of the trail ensure a pleasurable experience for inline skaters, allowing them to fully enjoy their time on their wheels. Legacy Parkway Trail is also wheelchair accessible, ensuring that individuals with mobility challenges can also fully 
partake in the outdoor adventures. The trail accessibility is designed to allow smooth navigation and offers opportunities for everyone to experience the beauty of the surroundings. On the Legacy Parkway Trails, you'll witness a seamless blend of urban development and natural landscape. Whether you're seeking an exhilarating bike ride, a peaceful walk, or a quick run, this trail offers a diverse range of activities to, for everyone. Um, I use it often and really, really enjoyed it. It's one of my favorite things about the area. Pro number three would be that be prepared to be greeted with smiles wherever you go. Woods Cross residents create a welcoming atmosphere that feels like home. Woods Cross embodies the small charm, charm and it's easy to make friends. It isn't hard with just a little bit of effort. The neighborhood tends to create a close-knit community that feels like family and family values are at the heart of Woods Cross, making it an ideal place for those looking to raise children in a nurturing environment. There's a lot of children and pets in the area. It has a small suburb feel with few restaurants and shopping amenities, but the good thing is that if you do want bigger shopping opportunities or a lot more variety in restaurants, you can find it within 20 minute commute. That way you'll be close to everything you need, but you'll still have that small town feel. Um, although it features homes built mostly throughout the 80s and the 90s, it has a similar feel to West North Salt Lake as far as lifestyle and community. So pro number four is the schooling system. Education matters and Woods Cross boasts excellent schools that focus on providing quality learning experiences for children. Davis County ranks number five out of 185 counties. It's well known for Legacy Preparatory Academy, which is a charter school. Since it is a charter school, the teacher ratio is low and you get in by way of lottery. Legacy offers both an elementary school and a junior high. So the elementary is kindergarten to sixth grade and then the junior high is seventh to ninth grade. And they're actually located side by side, which is very convenient if you have children in both. And Legacy focuses on the arts. It has an incredible dance, theater, music, and art program. So you might wanna check it out. Odyssey Elementary School is an elementary school in the area. They offer a French immersion program where it has just become very popular. They actually coordinate with Foxborough Elementary, which is in North Salt Lake, the neighboring city. The school Odyssey is centered around the theme of bodies in motion with each wing named as a different movement that creates use. Those movements are jumping, running, flying, and swimming. Odyssey is an LEED gold building. What does that mean? It means leadership in energy and environmental design and is administered by a nonprofit organization. The U.S. Green Building Council is that nonprofit organization. It's building LEED buildings earn points for the following categories, sustainable sites, water efficiency, energy and atmosphere, materials and resources, indoor environmental quality, innovation in design, and regional priority. Their building was built by energy sufficiency and the students do their part to protect the environment. Unless you choose the Legacy Charter School, the junior high aged children will be bused to Bountiful for school. Now let's move on to junior high. Unless you choose the charter school of Legacy, the junior high for the children in the area is actually located in Bountiful. So the children will be bused to, currently it is Mill Creek Junior High. It is an above average public school. It is located in Bountiful. It has 699 students in the grades of seven to ninth, and it has a student teacher ratio of 26 to one. So Woods Cross High School would be the high school that the children would attend in the area. And it serves grades 10 through 12. Students have an option to participate in many sports there, such as baseball, basketball, cross country, drill team, football, golf, <laughs> soccer, softball, swimming, tennis, track and field, volleyball, and wrestling. So they have one big game every year with their nearest competitor, and that's the town rival of Bountiful. Everyone likes to come out to that game. Um, Woods Cross High participates in the career and technology educational program. CTE provides technical training to prepare for a successful career. Classes begin in the seventh grade and they continue with the students until their senior year of high school. Throughout the course of the program, the students can choose different courses depending on where their interests lie. So the courses include agriculture, business, marketing, family and consumer science, health science, informational technology, skilled and technical sciences, technology, and engineering. Whew. 
It's a lot of options. Woods Cross students excel in many music programs throughout the school. The band, the choir, the orchestra, and the drama department have received numerous state recognitions and awards, as well as national ones, at competitions in and out of the state. Visual arts students can choose from a wide variety of classes, such as ceramics, painting, sculpting, jewelry, and graphic art. So many, many choices there. Pro number five. Proximity to Salt Lake City, Utah. If you need a city fix, Salt Lake City is just a short drive away. So even though you have the suburban living and the adventure that you crave is always just a short trip away. Within 20 minutes, you can get to downtown and you can enjoy the shopping or the local restaurants. There's such a wide variety. If you're looking for an adventure and you need some great options, you can go either north or south to the mountains and you can do skiing, snowboarding, whatever it might be. Lots of fun winter activities or if it's during the hot months you can actually get to lots of different lakes you can do kayaking you can do boating you can do paddle boarding there's so many fun options for you you can hike or you can bike in the fresh mountain air utah offers such a diversity of fun outdoor activities and my following videos i'll introduce you to some of my favorites so now for the not so great things Con number one is that the homes in the area are mostly built in the 80s or the 90s and there are only a few neighborhoods to the west of Redwood Road that are actually built in the 2000s. So they are a little bit bigger and a little bit newer. But there's not a lot of current building in the area, not a lot of new construction to choose from. And really, Woods Cross is a small city so there's not a lot of expansion that you're going to find in the area. This leaves you few options to purchase in the area and it does become a little bit competitive. Keep that in mind. This leads me into con number two, which has to do with the rising prices. Making an affordable housing purchase can be a little bit difficult in today's market, especially for first time buyers. So Utah in general has become less affordable and it's actually currently ranking number eight in the highest home market across the nation. Just remember where there's a will, there's a way. We can figure it out, but it could be a little bit more difficult. So con number three is the air quality issue. Um, like many places, Woods Cross can experience um, a occasional air quality conditions. So if you have asthma or allergies, it can be a little bit difficult for you, especially during certain seasons of the year. There also are refineries in the area that contribute to the problem. Unfortunately, in Utah as a whole, with the surrounding mountains, the air does get trapped and the mountains cause the pollutants to build up a little bit. The nice thing is that a good storm will typically clear that air for you. So if you do have allergies or you experience trouble breathing, um, you might suffer a little bit until the air clears. If you suffer from asthma or allergy, the poor air quality can make it worse. Big West Oil and Chevron are the refineries in the area. Um, they are in North Salt Lake, but there are some other things that contribute to that. Con at number four is weather extremes. Sometimes you wake up and you just don't know what to expect. I say that I wanna live like in the spring and the fall, but then at the same time, I love the four seasons and we really do need it to get cold enough to have winter activities, hot enough to have summer activities, but sometimes there are extremes. Sometimes it's just too hot or it's just too cold. But I guess that's the price you pay of being able to enjoy all of the outdoor activities in the area. Con number five is the limited nightlife. So if it's a big deal to you, if you're a night owl and you really want some good options to go out at night, you're gonna suffer a little bit in the small town of Woods Cross. That being said, again, 20 to 60 minutes away, you have many, many choices. So I'll be highlighting some of those fun activities in other videos, so stay tuned if you wanna know more about that. So there you have it. There are the top 10 pros and cons of living in Woods Cross, Utah, a place where you have the small town charm and you meet family friendly warmth. So if you're ready for a life filled with friendly faces, a community events, and a sense of belonging, Woods Cross, Utah might just be the perfect area for you. So happy exploring. We get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking to make a move to Salt Lake City, Utah or surrounding suburbs, or even just making a move from city to city in the area. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days or a year, give me a call. Shoot.